part of the 298th Combat Sustainment Support Battalion. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Lieutenant Colonel Chris Clark, commander of the 298th Combat Sustainment Support Battalion on behalf of Command Sergeant Major James A. Carter, the battalion, and the 367th Maintenance Company, also located in Philadelphia, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you today as we honor the, the veterans of Neshoba County who gave their lives in defense of this great nation. On the back of today's program is a list of these brave individuals from our community. They are listed in alphabetical order and by the war in which they made the ultimate sacrifice. I would like to personally thank the Neshoba County Fair Association for allowing us this opportunity to show our appreciation and include this recognition as an official event every year. At this time, I would like to ask Lieutenant Colonel Antoine D. Barlow, Joint Forces Headquarters Chaplain, Mississippi National Guard, to lead us in the invocation. Ladies and gentlemen, won't you join me in prayer? Lord, in the quiet sanctuaries of our hearts, we call on you. We recognize your power over us, which is great and gentle, firm and forgiving, holy and healing. Father, you created us and you alone sustain us. It's in you whom we call to lead our world into peace. Dear Lord, hear our prayer this day. Hear our prayer for all of our brothers and sisters in arms who paid the ultimate sacrifice, whose hearts and hopes are known to you alone. Hear our prayer for those who put the welfare of others ahead of their own and give us all their hearts as generous as theirs. Hear our prayer for those spouses and many children who stand alongside loved ones who devote themselves to the service of our nation and accept the gift of their service. Lord, help us to shape and make a world where we lay down at the arms of war and turn our swords into plowshares for a harvest of justice and peace. Comfort those who grieve the loss of their loved ones and let your healing be the hope in our hearts. Hear our prayer this day and in your mercy answer us. In the name of our Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. At this time, I would like to recognize our special guests that are with us today. Major, Jan uh, Major General Jansen D. Bull, Adjutant General, Mississippi. Congressman Trent Kelly, also a Brigadier General, Land Component Forces Commander in Mississippi. Colonel Kevin Nipples, Brigade Commander, 168th Engineers. Colonel Alan McDaniel, Director, National Guard Association of Mississippi. Command Chief Master Sergeant Lynn Cole, Senior Enlisted Advisor to the Air National Guard. Lieutenant Colonel Deidre Smith, Director of Public Affairs. State Representative Scott Bounds. CW5 Tommy Smith, Chief Command Warrant Officer for Mississippi. If I have missed anyone, please be assured that all of you are special to us and we certainly appreciate your presence at this memorial ceremony today. Our guest speaker today is Major General Jansen Durr Bowles. Major General Bowles. Phil Bryant on September 1st, 2016. He serves as the commanding general of both the Mississippi Army for providing the state of Mississippi and the United States of America with a ready force of more than 12,275 citizen soldiers and airmen, equipped and trained to respond to any contingency, natural or man-made. General Bowles directs the development coordination of all policies, plans, and programs of the Mississippi National Guard in concert with the governor and the legislature of the state. General Bowles is a former commander of the 184th ESC. He has served down in, in uh, Afghanistan, served the state of Mississippi during Hurricane Katrina. Major General Bowles is a graduate of Mississippi State University and the United States Army College. His awards and decorations include the Defense Superior Service Medal, Bronze Star Medal, Meritorious Service Medal with three bronze oak leaf clusters, Afghanistan Campaign Medal, Combat Action Badge, 
and the expert field medical badge. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the Adjutant General of Mississippi, Major General Jansen D. Bowles. So I want to take a moment and just say thank you to the folks, to the soldiers standing in the rain to support this ceremony. What about a round of applause for them? <laughs> they represent uh, a small portion of the Mississippi National Guard formation. We currently have about 300 soldiers who are deployed overseas uh, in the Middle Eastern area. We just had about 3,200 that came home serving in Syria, Jordan, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Afghanistan, Iraq, and uh, so we welcome them home. They're all home now, safe and sound, and they'll be back doing their regular jobs in another month. Um, this formation is also helping support a unit that's going out the door to go to the meetings, about 4,000 soldiers, that uh, they're helping them recover their equipment right now out in NTC in California. So. A uh, very important role that we play to help our partners get prepared as they go to uh, stand on the wall of freedom. Uh, I know the rain's starting to come down a little heavier now. I want to recognize another group here. Chris did a good job recognizing our soldiers, but if you do, if you are a veteran, would you stand for me? I just want to know all the veterans in this in this thing here this morning. Would you I say a few words. I've got my uh, chief here. Uh, the Mississippi National Guard is not just Army, but it's also Air Force. We're about 10,000 Army. We're about 2,500 Air Force. Uh, Linko, thank you for being here with us this morning to represent the Air Force part of our formation. So I want to be brief, um, but remember, this is a memorial ceremony. This is a memorial ceremony where we recognize those uh, men and women who have served the arms, armed services, uh, many have given their ultimate advice in harm's way. Um, Tom Cotton, who's a U.S. Senator, was also, is also a veteran and served in Iraq uh, during the uh, uh, early years of 2000s. And he has written a book called Sacred Beauty, A Soldier's Tour at Arlington National Cemetery. And I can't think of a better set of words to read to you this morning than this to honor what we're here for. So bending over to plant the flags, he served in the, uh, the Old Guard, which oversees the uh, uh, Arlington National Cemetery and does the Unknown Tongue uh, Soldiers Tomb there at Arlington. And uh, part of their uh, uh, responsibility is preparing Arlington for Memorial Day every year. So he writes these words. Bending over to plant the flags brought me eye level with the lettering on those marble stones. The stories continue with each headstone. The stained service cross, silver star, bronze star, purple heart. America's wars marched by Iraq, Afghanistan, Vietnam, Korea, World War II, World War I. Some soldiers died at a very old age. Others were teenagers. Crosses, stars, and David, crescents, and stars. Every religion, every race, every age, every region of America is represented in the fields of Arlington National Cemetery, in these fields of stone. On some headstones sit a small memento. Maybe it's a rank or a unit patch, a military coin, a seashell, sometimes just a penny or a rock. Each was a sign that someone maybe family or friends, or perhaps a battle buddy 
who lived because of his friend's ultimate sacrifice had visited. Honored and mourned, for those of us who had been downrange, the sight was equally comforting and jarring. A sign that we would be remembered in death, but also as a reminder of just how close some of us had come to resting here ourselves. We left those mementos undisturbed. Just remember this morning as we go through this ceremony that this, this monument that we will perform a ceremony in front of is a memento to those who have served from this city, this county, this state, this country. And some of those of us who are still honored and privileged to wear this uniform, we also recognize their service and to the veterans in the crowd, your service. I think I simply want to end my speech today with God bless this great nation. We are a privileged people. God bless America. Thank you.